Howdy again everybody. Thought I'd follow up on the initial caboose propane car video with another one starting with this angle so you could kind of see it in comparison to the locomotive as well. Let me come over here. I had some great comments and questions and I appreciate you all chiming in. Appreciate the enthusiasm and the questions as well. Um, I made a comment about the actual would be larger and what I meant was longer. So last night I came out here and I cut the the mock-up in half and I extended it with some extra cardboard sections um, basically now it goes the full length of the of the, the chassis and I actually may make it a little bit shorter um, my buddy Chuck asked me you know am I gonna really make it try to make it look like a caboose and if so then I'd have a little walkway here instead of just the bumper and Chuck I don't know if you can see this or not but there are little steps on either side here um, of course, they're not like a caboose step, but these are the Allen steps, the castings that I've got them bolted on there. So I may try to dress it up, make it look like a little bit, a little more like an actual caboose. I'm not going to get too wrapped around the axle about the the, the um, all the details, of course. But it, you you make a good point that it wouldn't hurt to make it look a little bit more realistic. So that's the longer version, as you may be able to tell. I also expanded the cupola made it longer it's about 11 inches now i think i had it at about eight inches before yeah you can see the difference there and of course the reason is to accommodate the gas valve that's a gas valve valve that i bought from loco parts when i bought the burner also i need to figure out the routing of the hose i honestly i think at first just to keep it simple i'll probably let the hose just come across the roof and then go across the, the tender will be right here I'll be sitting on that and I'll just have it connected to the locomotive so um, just keep it simple at first maybe I'll figure out a trickier way there it, you don't want the hose to make a sharp bend down so let me take off the cupola and you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about so the neat thing about something like this is I'll have plenty of storage space too so taking uh, tools to the track and oil and that kind of thing. Um, certainly what I have in mind is on the left side here, just kind of hinging, having one roof panel that will hinge open. Let me just take this off and you can get an idea of how much room is inside there. Um, sorry, pretty good amount of space for a little tool bag, you know, plenty of, and also, when I make this out of wood, I'll have some barriers there that will keep it from moving around. Obviously, you don't want the tank to come rolling out, no doubt. And also, I pointed out there's some, you know, you want to have space in the bottom. Right now, I just have a chunk of aluminum tread plate down there that the tank is sitting on. But there will be some kind of opening in the bottom. So there'll be good storage space inside this car and um, that's what it looks like right now like I said I think the next steps I uh, need to probably study up on the actual design of a local I mean of a uh, a caboose and there's no step I don't have any steps on the front part here I might try to make some not not exactly to scale but just something that's a little more representative and then maybe have some walkways and you know make it just look a little bit more convincing as a caboose so that's just a short video that's what I was talking about and um, give you a little bit more idea of what the what the structure would look like and about the sizes and so forth so again please keep the comments coming I really appreciate them and I will keep y'all posted when I start to make this uh, timing wise this is a Friday night. I think I'll be working on my plans over the weekend. I, I may put some metal uh, floor plates in just to get started and then I'll finalize the drawings and start cutting up some wood. I need to figure out exactly what you know what I want to make the body out of. I'm thinking ordinary plywood um, would be the easiest and maybe the most practical. But again, I've try to give some consideration to making it look a little bit more scale. So there you go. Thanks again, everybody. I appreciate your comments and watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll keep you posted.